Are you familiar with Ms. Arnold's opinion that it's customary for an actor to renegotiate the fee for a subsequent picture option in a multi-picture contract when a film is successful? Yes, I heard that opinion. And are you also familiar with her testimony that under those circumstances, an actor will renegotiate a 50 to 100 percent increase in their salary for the next optional film? Yes, I heard her say that. Do you agree with those opinions? Absolutely not. Why not, sir? Well, w what we're dealing with in this case is a test option agreement. And that's an, uh, an agreement. Uh, it's a multi-picture agreement. And it's the nightmare for people like me. You, the test is going to take place, let's say, for 10 actors the next morning at 9. And you have to fully negotiate a contract that might cover four movies and have it signed before they're allowed to test so that if they're chosen for the part, we have the full contract. There's no renegotiation. So you've got a contract for a multi-picture deal. It's usually a franchise. Uh, and uh, you negotiate the first movie. And normally, if they get the part, they're the chosen one, uh, they're the stars born moment, if you will. Uh, they get the part, normally their salary is um, uh, inflated from their normal salary because now they're going to play a character that could go on for four movies. In this case, uh, Ms. Hurd's first salary when she got the part was $450,000. If Warner Brothers and DC Comics decided to make a next movie, um, they could recast her. They had no obligation. All they had was an option. But if they did cast her up front that they had uh, agreed to more than double her salary, like two and a quarter times to get to the million dollars, uh, these are large uh, bumps, if you will. They're, if an actor is on a series, say, they go and they have five options. They go up in increments of 5%, 10%, 20%, not these multiples that you see in uh, uh, a test option agreement. And that's one of the reasons that uh, they aren't renegotiated normally. They are in some instances, but not normally. What's the significance of the test part in a test option agreement? Uh, the, the test significance is that an established actor usually wouldn't test. They'd be offered the role. The, uh, Ms. Hurd was in a group of actors that needed to be tested to see if the studio wanted to hire them. And then if they hired them, uh, they would be locked up for potentially four movies at very lucrative uh, increases. Because after Aquaman uh, won, she gets to a million dollars. Aquaman 2, she gets to $2 million, and Aquaman 4, uh, 3, excuse me, you get to $4 million. These are unheard of bumps if you're going on a normal career and trying to increase your salary by increments.